enter your participant ID followed by pound. Otherwise, just You are in the meeting now. You are the first participant. Please stand by. Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I like to thank God for keeping me and keeping you and keeping us and keeping all, every one of us, to another day for another time of blessing, unique blessing, unique power in our lives. I pray that tonight, God in His infinite mercy, we do a great thing in your life and in my life, things that for generations to come will be remembered for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God remains God. No matter what the devil thinks, he is the author and finisher of our faith. He loves us immensely, he cares for us tremendously, and his mercy prevails over us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us have a word of prayer. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to appreciate you for your goodness and mercy over my life, over the life of every listener in this program, church on the phone, prayer line, whatever name we call it, Lord. As many as we have been using, Lord Jesus, to sustain what we are doing and that you are blessing tremendously through this forum. I just give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, as we proceed tonight, I ask, O God, that as many as we watch this and we partake tonight, you said we have not called the children of Israel to serve you in vain. Let nobody serve you in vain. Let nobody Amen. come to this line in vain. Let your hand Amen. of healing and power be made manifest in the name of Jesus. I am praying tonight that, Lord, you will give me utterance in the name of Jesus. The word for everyone, the Rema word, the living word, the healing word, the deliverance word, for myself, for the people, Lord, that they need tonight or this hour or any time they watch this program. Lord, release to them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. Give us clarity of purpose. Give us joy in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. I'd like to bless the name of the Lord for bringing all of us tonight to his presence. I trust that God will reach out to you uh, in a great way in Jesus' name. It's customary Amen. for us to just worship God with one or two songs, to adore him, to praise him. Psalm, one, oh, I mean, Psalm 100 say, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. My I will heart. enter his court with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, ah, ah. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. <coughs> Take glory, Father. 
Te glory song. Glory, Holy Ghost. Forever, now forever more. Te glory, Father. Te glory, Son. Te glory, Holy Ghost. Now forever more. When I come into His presence, I'm so happy. Let's rejoice in the presence of God tonight. When I come into His presence, I'm so glad. In Your presence, there is anointing that Spirit moves all over me. In His presence. The anointing brings the yoke. In your presence, the anointing brings the yoke. I believe the anointing is going to break the yoke tonight. Let's begin to thank God who has kept us. Let's begin to thank God for the word of God that you have heard that has sustained you. God created this world with the, His word. God sustains this world with His word. God repairs this world with His word. The word of God is coming to you tonight, to me tonight, to bring healing, to bring deliverance. Let us appreciate Him. Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your career. Yes, there are things you need. There are things I need. But I tell you, people die today. We are not mocking them. Those ones, whatever they think they have, whatever they think they need, is gone. Karebo sokorobo zuria. Made kerebo zuria. When there is life, there is hope. He said, it's still our month of mercy. He said, it is because of the mercy of God we are not consumed. That narrow escape is because of the mercy of God. Let us appreciate God tonight. Lord, I just bless you. I just worship you. Lord, I just adore you because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Blessed be your name, O God. Forever, O Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled in heaven forever. O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled. Father, we bless you tonight. Lead us tonight and bless us. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Amos Dada, and I'd like to welcome all of you, wherever you are calling from, in the name of Jesus. God who has sustained you to this hour will not forget you. He will not abandon you. The power of God will always glorify himself in your life, in the name of Jesus. What is giving you joy today will not give you sorrow. What is making you happy today will not bring, Lord, discord to your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. It's always a joy to pray. You know, because prayer has two dimensions. You are able to talk to the living God. It is invisible. You don't see Him. But that doesn't de diminish the effect. It is an act of faith. It is an act that God enjoys because it means that we are depending on Him. It, 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 uh, it says some trust in horses, some trust in, in, uh, in one thing or the other, but we will put our trust in Him. When you come to prayer, it shows you are praying, it shows you are trusting God, and God will not abandon His children. He said, when you pass through waters, I will be with you. When the fires of the life are coming, I will make sure they are not kindled upon you. I prophesy to you tonight, as you come to this place, it will handle your affairs in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we are continuing with our uh, revelation, with our understanding of the book of Samuel. I'm just hung up on this past book of life. I mean... Like never before, I see so many profound things that transverses the things of life that God is using through the life of Samuel. And I don't want you to take it for granted. Today we are looking at, even though we are looking at the book of Samuel, part 6, but we have a subtitle, and it is Samuel 
as a role model of a great leader. Samuel as a role model of a great leader. I'd like to read from 1 Samuel chapter 12. 1 Samuel chapter 12. And Samuel said to all Israel, I'm reading from verse 1, I have listened to everything you said to me, and I have set a king over you. Now you have a king as your leader. As for me, I'm old and gray, and my sons are here with you. I have been your leader from my youth until this day. Here I stand. Verse 3. Testify against me in the presence of the Lord and is anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Whose donkey have I taken? Whom have I cheated? Whom have I oppressed? From whose hand have I accepted a bribe to make me shut my eyes? If I have done any of these things, I will make it right. You have not cheated or oppressed us, they replied. You have not taken anything from anyone's hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, one of the things the Lord gives to us to do is to raise an ego generation. A generation of a leader like Samuel. No, no dent, no scandal. We all knew, that's why we are pursuing this book of Samuel, how this boy grew up in a dysfunctional home. How this boy grew up in a polygamous house. People today, because they have polygamous house, they cry one thing, they give reasons for their misbehavior, they do all kinds of things. But brethren, this boy grew up in a dysfunctional home. But thank God, he, he said, I have been with you since my youth. He <laughs> was just being modest. I, I was born into your hand. You saw how I was born, you know, and how he grew up, how his parents dedicated him to the Lord, how he followed through, how God spoke to him, and how God made him to occupy two critical positions. You know, today the Bible talks and calls us kings and priests. Samuel was a typical king and a priest. A typical king and a priest. As a matter of fact, you see what he said. Samuel said to all, I have listened to everything you said to me, and I have set a king over you. Because they knew him as the king over them. They knew him as the priest. We, we remember when uh, Saul lost uh, his um, uh, uh, father's house, was lost and he was searching for it. He said, let's go and see a seer. He was occupying the position of a seer. He was occupying the position of a prophet. He was occupying the position of a unique leader. He was combining multidimensional roles in his time. He had access to all the land. He had access to the oxen. He had access to property. But here is this man. And that's what we are looking for. He said, whose ox have I taken? Have I looked at another man's wife? Have I betrayed my trust? Have I done this thing? Isn't that what we are crying for? Isn't that what we want to become? Samuel as a role model. I want us to pray tonight that the qualities, the things that this man did, that made him stand out, God will exemplify them in your life. God will exemplify them in your husband, in your wife, in my career, that even through, it's not just uh, uh, talking about men, he's talking also to God. He knew that when he left this, he's leaving this world, he's going to be with God. Leadership is not just about occupying position. Leadership is about your purpose. As a matter of fact, one of the things I want to share tonight is... Um, Something that somebody said to me on, uh, on WhatsApp, which I also retweeted or reposted. You know, it says seven things to carry like a crate of eggs. Seven things in your life that you must carry. I believe those are the things that Samuel carried in his life that made him to be able to call the elders, call the whole nation. 
It's like a president of the nation. It's like a king. It's like the prime minister. I said, see, look at, look at my life. How many houses do I have here? How many places have? He said, no, 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 no. I pray that God will make you a leader. I don't know who you are. Maybe you are a president of a nation. Maybe you are a prime minister. Maybe you are a senator. Maybe you are a, 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 a congressman. Maybe you are a, a, a governor or a premier. Maybe you are a mayor. And you are watching this telecast. Live your life like a great leader like Samuel. When you leave office, let it be said that you are you yourself can call them. Go and look at this. We have a, a, in, a, in our nation, particularly where we come from, somebody who has not gotten one thing. And he goes to politics. And in one month, six months, he builds 32 houses. Ten exotic cars and all kinds of things. Ah, don't make us rule moodies. And so what are the things that I believe helped this man? Number one was he was conscious of his name. Are you a son? Are you a daughter? Are you a husband? Name matters. Name is not just a tag. Your name has been coming. You are not the even though you are you are naming a baby today. That name there is a last name. There is a generational name. If it has been spoiled before, do you everything you can do to rectify it? Don't spoil the name of your family. We are living in Canada. We are living in America. We are living in Nigeria. Wherever you are, name matters. Name is important and fragile. There are names that stink in the ears of people simply because those who bear those names spoil their name. When you live a corrupt life, when you steal the nation's wealth, when nobody can trust you, you have spoiled your name. But when you make your name one, the way to handle your name with care is to be careful of your doings. It is your action that determines what your name spells. Your actions can rubbish your name. A good name can open doors for you, for your children, for your generations after you. A bad name will close doors. Please, the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Carry your name with carefulness. It is a huge asset. Here is one of the quotes written by Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Whoever steals my paws steals trash. It's something. Nothing. It was mine. It's his. And I've been slave to thousands. But he that flitches from me my good name, my enviable reputation, robs me of that which does not enrich him, but makes me poor indeed. Number two thing that I believe helped this man was his heart. Many hearts are broken, shattered in all kinds of ways and bitter today. One of the factors you know, responsible for this is because many of these house owners were careless with their hearts. You can guard your hearts from being broken and bitter. Run away from people and things that are bent on breaking your heart. Carry your heart like a crate of egg. Your heart physiologically, anatomically, once the heart is dead, that life is dead. Heart is not something you just mess up with. Heart is not something. All the vital organs are critical. Your, your, your kidney, your lungs, your intestine, your stomach, all those internal things are, are very critical. But the most critical is your heart. The moment that thing starts pumping blood, whether it's at age 0 or age 1 or age 10 or age 1, they say that person is dead. Carry your heart. And the Lord will help you in Jesus. The number three that I believe helped Samuel was he knew his purpose. The moment he found himself in the church, he stood there. Are you a pastor? Are you a deacon? Are you an, a, an evangelist, a bishop, or, or geo? Today, people are desecrating, talking to pastors, as, because we have messed up. And we must stop messing up. We must. I was reading a book today, Acts chapter, Acts chapter 8, 
Acts chapter 8. The Bible says, when they, they, they scattered them in Israel, the disciples went all over the place. And he gave an example of Philip's. He said, Philip went to Samaria and he preached Christ. Wow. And people were doing, I mean, signs and wonders were coming from him to the extent that he sent to what? He sent to Israel, uh, to Jerusalem, for Peter to come. And when Peter came, guess what happened? They lay hands on people and they were baptized in the Holy Ghost. And there was Simon uh, the sorcerer begging for to, 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 he said, let me give you money to buy power. Samuel didn't buy power to rule the people. What is your purpose in life? Stop buying things that are, are, are noble. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Your purpose is your destiny. If you don't handle it with utmost care, it can slip off your hands and guess and get broken. So many things, you know, come like pressure on this crate of egg of purpose. Discouragement, lack of funds, anxiety. These are things that want to come like pressure on your purpose to break it. Don't allow them. Care, carry it with care. Carry your purpose away from people and things that may want to put pressure on it and break them. Your purpose defines you now and forever. Your purpose is a gateway to where you are going to spend eternity. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Samuel knew this and he guarded his purpose. He knew God called him to be a preacher. He knew God called him to be a seer. He knew God called him to be a leader and he did it thoroughly. And he evaluated himself. He presented himself for the people. We have it in our system now. They will tell you when you want to become a, a public officer. Come with your what? <laughs> your asset. Declaration of assets. We always hear about that one. Those who declare. We never hear about when they are leaving. May God help us in Jesus name. Don't live above your means. Number four that I believe helped this man is your health. You have only this body as a vehicle that will carry you through your journey of destiny in this life. Handle your health with care. No matter how big your, your vision is, once you are dead, you are dead. Nobody can really run the vision like you. I want to seize this opportunity to thank uh, Brother Evans and his wife those who coordinated this prayer line last week. My wife and I have to get out to Las Vegas to come and relax. Amen. I don't want to die young. Amen. Walking like a jackal. No, no, no. Relax. Take care of your body. Avoid things that can destroy your health. Take time to rest. Wealth is useless when your health becomes useless. Don't kill yourself because of your time. Do your best to stay alive. We still need you here. Are you a mother? Listen to me. Your children lead you here. You are doing three jobs. You have no time for God. You have no time to pray. No, 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 no. Before you were born, bills are being paid. I tell them in Canada here, the house you are living does not belong to you. You are Even when you say you buy it, you are just renting it. Not just renting it. When you are going, you are not carrying it. Doesn't have, anybody can use that name. Anybody can bury that place. You still pay tax forever in it. Don't kill yourself. Don't use your fork. I like what is written here. He said, don't use your fork. Don't use your knife. Don't use your spoon. Don't use your glass to destroy yourself. Don't use it to dig. Don't, what you are putting in your mouth, what you are drinking, what you are using your spoon for, they can have the power to destroy you. Somewhere stood out. Somewhere stood out. Your marriage, number five. So many people handle their married life like a carton of, uh, you know, noodles. No, your, your, your marriage is an egg. You must carry it like an egg. Don't let it break. Many of us, I was, uh, I was uh, in, a, in a meeting of the Nigerian Canadian Ministers Forum, and I was begging men, um, and I meant it with all sincerity. Stop divorcing your wife for every flimsy reason. Matthew 19 says, this is, he said, they came to Jesus. They said, must I divorce my wife? 
He said, why do you want to divorce your wife? He said, because the book of Moses tells us. He said, go and read it properly. He said, that's not the intention of God, original intention. He said, the intention of God is that one man, one wife for life. No divorce. He said, but because of hardness of your heart. Why must you harden your heart? And then some people walk away. They allow their wife to be taking, uh, training their children. They go and marry Syria husband, marry this, marry that to and stop it. And if you are listening to me as a woman, if if what is causing trouble in your marriage is provocation, don't provoke your husband. Be it your home. Samuel was an epitome of a good leader, a good home. Train his children. It's another thing to train them. It's another day. And I want to plead for the youth or children that may be watching this telecast. Please. When your parents are speaking to you, guiding you, taking you to church, don't think they don't know what they are doing. They are seeing your future. They are building your future. The children of Eli destroyed his ministry. He took the grace of God for the children of Samuel not to destroy his life. Please, children of God, wherever you are, take care of your destiny. Be a role model for yourself. If you are young to be a mentee, be a good mentee. There was a time when Samuel didn't know God. When God calls him, he doesn't know the, how to hear God, but he grew. He, he developed himself in the Lord. May the Lord help you. Develop yourself in the Lord that will make your marriage work. Your marriage is not just something you break like anything. You as a father or husband can go and marry somebody, or your wife can go and marry somebody, else. but one of your children, they can't just switch fathers. A stepfather is not a father. May the Lord help us. Be a great role model like, Dave, uh, like Samuel. Your words, number six, your worth is attached to your words. Be careful with your words. Once broken, you can't gather them up again. Words, they say, is like an egg. You speak it even when you say you are sorry. Some people will never take that sorry. It never it never registers in them. So watch what you say before you say it. Samuel never said anything except what is necessary. James chapter 3 talks about our tongues. Let's be careful with our tongues. Don't speak negative things to yourself. Don't speak negative things to your husband. Some people, the way they will call their husband, oh, Lord, Buku, come and take your food. Useless man. Useless. See what your mates are doing. No, 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 no. Say that to yourself or to your children or to your in-law or, or to your pastor or to your neighbors. Be careful what you say. Words have power. Somewhere said, look at me. Is there any of you that can accuse me of speaking derogatorily about you? No way. Even when he was dealing with uh, Saul, who was very, he said, poor Saul, why are you this one? He never shouted him down. He said, you said, uh, God gave you an opportunity to go and fight America. Have you fought the America? He said, yes, sir. He said, Sam, uh, Saul. But I'm hearing the bleating of uh, goats and bleating of this. You know? Ah, may God help us in Jesus' name. The last but not the least is what uh, is your eternity. Somewhere knew he was going to make heaven because of this credential he has, uh, has given. You too must live your life like that. It's not be a role model. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be an evangelist or a deacon. I was teaching yesterday, maybe God will help us to pray over that one of these days. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. What signs are following you? What signs? What signs? We started with, with uh, 1 Corinthians 13. Kind, merciful, not envious. Those are the kinds of signs that must follow a child of God. We went to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Love, joy, meekness, love, suffering. Those are signs. But we went to something also more powerful in, uh, in uh, Mark chapter 16. He said that we cast out demons. And that's what we are going to do tonight. 
whatever will not allow you to be a great leader, a great child, a great wife, a great citizen, a great pastor, a great engineer, a great uh, 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 wife, uh, husband. God will help you to deal with it tonight in the name of Jesus. Those who are running up and down to fulfill destiny here on earth without thinking of their eternity, you know, do not belong here. That's the truth. The matter of eternity is not something you just handle with uh, levity. Think about where you will spend eternity. You will die one day, whether you like it or not. You will die one day. We all pray to live long, but we will all die if Jesus tarries. Amen. I mean, we will. <laughs> I will also die one day, but I want to make heaven. I pray that you also will make heaven. I want to leave this place and be able to ask, whose, whose ox have I taken? Whose wife have I taken? I tell my wife, if I die and somebody comes and says, this is Dilly Dada's child, it's a lie. Go and do DNA. It can never be. Live your life in a way that will glorify God. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Be a role model. Be a role model. Samuel was a role model. Maskende ribu su kuria bashanda. Makus kiribu su kuria bose kiribu zuka. Lebu ribu bobo shindi ribu bobo sondo rubu bobo shinda rabakuria. Raba bobo sondo rubu zu kuriba sila. Yes, Lord, we bless. Ask God to help you. Wherever you have made mistakes, uh, what's his name? Nobel Prize said, look, you always have a time to make the correction. Maybe you are the one this message is meant for tonight. Lord, correct me. What am I doing wrong? Let's pray tonight. Let's pray tonight. Bind those things. Cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Reke posa kandala bashinda. Reke poso kuriaba bobo so kuribobo shinda. Ask God that look at the end of my life. Even in your office, when you leave an office, when you leave a place, ask them. What type of leader uh, or leadership have I offered? Let them be able to say, like they say in First Samuel chapter 12, you have not cheated or oppressed us, they replied. You have not taken anything from our hand. Oh, hallelujah. Ask God to make you a, a man, a woman of integrity. A man that will pursue his destiny with regard in the name of Lord Jesus. Le posa kuria baba shanda. Yeki Riki, ask God to make you a praying mother. Make you a wonderful youth for God. Let your youth be. He said, don't let anybody despise your youth. You yourself don't despise your youth. Are you a young girl, young boy? Stop fornicating and committing atrocities that will destroy your future. No. Father, in the name of Jesus, come and help me, Lord Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me live a life as a, a godly example for my generation. Let me be an ego for this generation. Pray, pray. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. Is it your prayer life that needs to help you be, be what God wants you to be? Ask God to help you to develop it. Are you into drugs? Are you into fornication, adultery, you know, um, uh, whatever is bad that is that is ruining your life, you have an opportunity tonight. You have an opportunity. You can observe Jesus. Jesus has been lifted up. Whosoever will look unto him shall be saved. Ask God to make you an outstanding leader. The Bible says if you will lack wisdom, let him ask that, that can give. Ask God, give me wisdom in my office. I said, if your money is not enough, that's what is making you to corrupt and to steal. Ask God, give me a promotion. Give me an idea to start business. You have no excuse to be a bad leader. I have no excuse to be a bad pastor. No, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. Some people will say, it's their wife that is their problem. Your wife is not your problem. Your wife cannot be your problem. Your wife can never be your problem. Oh, she can be cataclysmic. She can be this. Everyone has his own uh, own uh, 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 shortcomings. Your own weakness. If you handle your weakness, that woman will handle her own. Your husband is your weakness. No, 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 no. Ask God to help you tonight. Ask God to help you tonight. Ask God. And no matter whatever is happening in your home, pray for that home. Pray. God answers prayer. 
Ask God to give me a clean career. Give me prosperity. Let me not steal. Let me not bri take bribe. If you are in a position you are taking bribe, get out of that place. Korea, post Korea. La Kapashe Kerebozuria. What's his name? Somewhere said, For whose hand have I accepted a bribe to make me shut my eyes? Wow. Wow. May you live a life of integrity. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Let's pray the next prayer from First Samuel chapter 12 verse 6. First Samuel chapter 12 verse 6. You know, it spoke about, he said, It is the Lord that has advanced Moses and Aaron. Ask God, advance me in life. Ask God to advance you in life. Advance my career. What is the shortcoming? What is making you to do stuff? Lord, advance my career. It is the Lord who shows Moses. He looked for him in the land of the Midianites, and he brought him out. He gave him power. He gave him resources. What do you need to live well? It is the Lord that has advanced Moses. Somebody is on this line tonight. My God will advance you. My God will lift you up and take you to where he wants you to be. It is the law that has advanced Moses. Reke poso Korea. Ask God to advance you. Ask God to advance your husband. Maybe it is because of lack of job, lack of career. Whatever be the argument, Lord, advance this man. Advance this man. Advance my wife. Advance my children. Let them not fail in life. It is the law that has advanced Moses. No man becomes anything on his own. Psalm 75 verse 6 says, God puts one up and puts one down. He said, promotion does not come from left or right. It is the Lord that has advanced me. Lord, advance daily. Advance me, Lord, in Canada. Wherever you are, speak to the Lord tonight. My God has the power to advance you. Hey, he said it is the Lord that advanced. Even Samuel himself, God advanced him. God advanced uh, Joseph. God advanced David. They, nobody, nobody reckoned with David. They, they didn't, when they were looking for king, they didn't have anything about him. But God went to pick him. How many millions are in Israel? But God looked for Moses. It is the Lord that advanced Moses. Where you are tonight, where you think you are suffering, where you think the world has, has finished you, my God will advance you. My God will advance you. The Lord who advanced Samuel and made him and put him in a position to say, who's Oxen have I taken. Maybe you are looking for a job. My God will provide for you. You are looking for a wife. My God will give you a wife. You are looking for a husband. You are looking for career prospects. Whatever be your desire. You are sick tonight. My God will heal you. My Lord advance Moses. He will advance you. He will advance your business. He will advance your career. As God advance my marriage. Advance my ministry. You have been in ministry and is giving you concern. My brother, my sister, has God to advance that ministry. Lord, advance the ministry you are giving me. CSC better, advance it, O oh Lord. International Garden of Eagles Conference, advance it, O oh Lord. All you have called me to do, my book writing, everything you have called me to do, Lord, advance it, advance it, Lord. May God use you, you know, to advance this generation in the name of Lord Jesus, to bring deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12 verse 9, you know, he said, but they forgot the Lord their God. So he sold them into the hand of Caesarea, the commander of the army of Hazor, and into the hand of the Philistines, and the king of Moab, who fought against them. They cried out to the Lord and said, we have sinned, we have forsaken the Lord and served the Baals and the Asteroids. But now deliver us from the hands of our enemies, and we will from the, and we will serve you. Then the Lord sent Jerubal, a barak, Japhatha and Samuel, and he delivered him from the hands of your enemies. The Lord will deliver you from the hand of the enemy. You are going to pray tonight, whichever way you are disobeying God. Because he said he sold them to the, it was God who sold them to the side of Caesarea, the commander of the army, the Hesus, Lord, whatever disobedience is in my life that has made you to make me a victim of my enemy, a victim of sickness, a victim of disease, whatever decisions, choices I've made that is afflicting me. You know, the choices you make now will affect your future, will affect your future. Some people are smoking, they are into drugs, they are into prostitution, 
and uh, they are doing all kinds of, and you think it will not affect your future? It will. But hear me and hear me well. God has mercy tonight. God has mercy tonight. Whatever you are doing wrong, Lord, correct me now. Correct. He said the people repented and the Lord fought for them. He will fight for you. He will fight for you, the Lord, and the people repented. Take time to repent. Take time. Are you a husband beating your wife? Repent. Are you a wife always nagging, always insulting, always disrespecting your husband? Stop it. Are you a child that is troublesome, giving your parents all kinds of attitude? Stop it tonight. Repent. There are two languages I found from, from, from today when I was reading the Bible that Peter was always saying, repent and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Repent. And, and that's what made his life. He denied Jesus, but he repented. And he got the Holy Ghost. Ask God, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill me. Let me know how to handle issues of life. Let me know how to handle issues of life. In my office, in my career, in my home. Lord, I repent of all attitude that does not glorify you. God has sent the somewhere to you. God is sending a most daily that to you tonight. Repent. Repent. It's going to help you out in the name of Jesus. Repent from your adulterous life. Repent from that drug life. Repent from that wickedness. Why are you wicked? Why are you treating other people's children as if you don't have your own? Even if you don't have your own, God will give you children. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The next prayer is from verse 18. Then Samuel called on the Lord. And that same day, the Lord sent thunder and rain. So all the people stood in awe of the Lord and of Samuel. Oh Lord, <laughs> you know, when these people were fighting the people of Israel, and the people of Israel were, have repented, the Bible says, Samuel called upon the name of the Lord, and the Lord said, Thunder. Ask God, those who are those frustrating my destiny, ask God to send Thunder. I'm standing in the office of Samuel tonight, and I'm asking God to Thunder from heaven. Those who said they will destroy your destiny. Those who said they will never repent until they destroy you. Those who said you will not make it in Canada. You will not make it in America. You will not make it in London, in Nigeria. Yes, I see you from Pakistan. Rakosko Robo Soko Ribasina. Those who say your ministry that will not do any, have any effect. I command thunder tonight. Thunder, thunder from heaven. Thunder from heaven. He says somewhere commanded thunder. And he slay them. Reke poso korobo shoria. Labos ke reke pos koriaba. Ye ke rebo. That's a leader. A leader knows how to defend his people. A leader knows how to stand for them. A leader knows how to how to give them what they needed. He stood. He called on God. I'm calling on God on your behalf tonight. What what have they said that will not happen to your life that God has given to you? I ask God to set you free. This is your hour of deliverance. Lord, set these people free. Send your thunder. Send earthquake. Send thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. All those who said their life will be wasted. Those who said they will count degrees, they will never count money. Those who said they have, they will be beautiful, but they will never have children. My God said thunder, deliver them tonight. Deliver them tonight. Deliver them tonight. De ask God to deliver you tonight. Pray, 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 pray. All your business is going down. Cry unto the Lord. I said, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out demons. Cast out the demon tormenting you. Cast out the spirit that does not make you to sleep well. What is it? Is it insomnia? Is it arthritis? Is it cancer? Is it ulcer that wants to kill you? Let thunder destroy those powers. Let thunder destroy those sicknesses. Let thunder destroy them tonight. In the name of Lord Jesus, the word of God is sent his word and heal them and deliver them from destruction. Those who say you will not live your life. Those who say you will not enjoy the counsel of God, I command thunder tonight in the name of Lord Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. N uh, number four, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you. And I will teach you the way that is good and right. This is 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23. But be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully. With all your heart, consider what great things he has done for you. Verse 25, yet if you persist in doing evil, 
both you and your king will perish. You will not perish in the name of Jesus. You will repent. You are going to speak to the Lord tonight. Samuel uh, said, as for me, far be for me that I should sin against you. Ask God, make me a prayer warrior. I just said it now. I was counseling a lady. The husband has been giving her some tough time. I said, it's no more counseling. All you need is prayer. Ask God to appear to him to set him free. To set him from blindness. To remove the covering cast. Your marriage will not break tonight. Yes, we will not cease to pray for you. Don't cease to pray for that your husband. Don't cease to pray for that your child. I can imagine the, in Luke chapter 15, somebody came to his father, took all his wealth and went. The man was praying until that boy came back, began to pray tonight. If someone say, I will not cease to pray for you. I'm praying for somebody tonight. Whatever harassment in your home, in your marriage, in your career, in your ministry, I ask God to set you free. I ask God to make a way for you. I ask God to intervene in your situation in the name of Lord Jesus. Let God uplift you. I command that sickness to disappear. God called me to do this work I'm doing. It's not by my power, by my mind. And I'm praying for you. Samuel said, I will never fail to pray for you. Paul said, I'm praying for the official. I pray for the Colossians. I pray for grace. I pray for Samuel. I pray for Yinka. Whatever name you are bearing on this place tonight. In the name of Jesus, Samuel. I pray for you tonight. The Lord God will watch over you. Benedicta, Lord, the people. The Lord will heal you. May go and expand your ministry. Lara Bola, in the Lord help you. Pastor Francis Kofoorola, Ishelo, may the Lord assist you in your ministry. Ola Sumo, Ola Rushola, Sandra Isaac, Pastor Victory, in the name of Lord Jesus. Uh, my wife, all of you that are on this line tonight, hear me. I will not cease to pray for you. My God will hear my prayer. My God will turn your adversity. I pray for you, Larai Muru. The Lord delivered us tonight from, from, from Perry. There was all kinds of things that happened in Toronto, but even very close to that place, our member was there, but God delivered her. My God will deliver you from trouble. He will deliver me from trouble in the name of Lord Jesus. Pray, pray that God will give you power to pray and pray true. Yes, that's the weakness of many of us. We can't pray true. Ask God help me to pray true. Ask God to help me to pray true. Help me to develop my praying power. Pray. No, this is an hour of prayer. It's once in a week. Once in a week. Once in a week. And you can't pray for yourself. Ask God help me to pray. Help me to develop my prayer power. Deliver me from failure. Deliver me from weaknesses. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Reke posakoria. Maleke reke posokori babashanda. Release. Release your fire upon me. Release the fire of prayer. It's not just here. Kosakori abashanda. He said this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. You can't speak with new tongues if you don't have the Holy Ghost. As God baptize me with fire. Baptize me with fire in the name of Lord Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. You shall succeed. This is our year of uh, our month of mercy. As God, let me enjoy your mercy. My sister, my brother, wherever you are tonight, ask God for mercy. 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 Me Even if you have sinned. Samuel says, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me. Restore me. Ask God for restoration. Ask God for power in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ask God to set you free from encumbrances, from power, from principalities. He said the Mount Zion shall be delivered and, and, and the people shall possess their possession. What is it that belongs to you that the devil says you cannot take? Release, 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 set and loose your grip upon my life. The Bible says, surely they will gather no more by you. As many that we gather against you shall fall for your sake. Everyone gathering against my destiny, they will shall fall for my sake. I receive power to excel. I receive power to do well in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I believe power has gone out tonight. And somebody is blessed. 
and you are blessed forever in the name of Jesus. And what God has given to you, the enemy will not be able to take it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will be easy for you to succeed in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take some general prayer. Does anybody have a peculiar prayer tonight? Please, God is in this place. I, I, I know my God is here. Holy Spirit is here. If you have any challenge you want us or somebody or a nation, please say it quickly before I come up with one or two prayer points. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. One of our daughters was uh, celebrating her 50th birthday. She's always on this line. I don't know whether she's here. Uh, uh, Sister Bisi Abuaba, we thank God for your life. Let's co commit her to the hand of the Lord. That Lord will continue to keep this woman. She has entered a golden era. That her life will continue to be golden. She's been our committed member right from Nigeria. I worry. And she's here. She takes care of Pastor Dada. More than you can imagine. Let's go to lift out today. The Lord Jesus will bless her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Roko poso Korea Baba Shanda. Ye kire poso Korea. Yes, keep our family, keep our generation. Do good to our oh God. In Jesus' name we are praying. I have two other people that are sick. One is facing cancer. Another one is facing undisclosed illness. That Lord, this was Lord. We speak good health to them. We command healing tonight. We command healing. Please command healing. No death. We are, we, this is an altar of, of healing. And if you are the person tonight that God, I speak healing to. He sent his word and healed them. And deliver. Whether they are in Nigeria or America or London, it doesn't matter. Everyone that is in hospital, everyone in shelter, the enemy has tied that. I lose you tonight. I lose you tonight. I lose you tonight. Let's pray for this, our brother in England. Let's pray, two of them like that, that God will set them free in the name of Lord Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. We have children that are, are pregnant. They are believing God for safe delivery. Let's declare tonight that they will deliver safely. Let's pray. Those who are believing God for children, let God open their wombs. All those who are scattering them, scattering their eggs, scattering their sperm, scattering their eggs, let God scatter those who are, and those who are pregnant, let them deliver safely. Let's pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I decree tonight that those who are believing you for children receive power to conceive. And those who are con conceived, let them deliver safely in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them deliver safely in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray for marriages that are facing challenges. They can't, they call it irreconcilable. They don't know where the trouble is coming from. Every problem in every marriage, it may be on sex, it may be on uh, money, in the all house spiritual undertone. If, if there is no open, uh, open, open, open wall, lizard cannot enter. Let's close that gap spiritually. Let's ask God, every home that is distressed, Lord Jesus, take away distress from that place, Lord. Let us pray. My Father, my God, I'm praying for everyone, whether on Periscope or, or, or online, wherever you are tonight, receive divine healing for your marriage, receive emotional healing, receive physical healing, receive financial healing, whatever the enemy is using to scatter this home, I command you to stop tonight. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus, thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want us to pray for our country, Canada, tonight. We have for the first time that somebody ran and killed about 10 people, about 15 people are still in the hospital. That terrorism will not come to Canada. That all the family that have been afflicted tonight, they can't sleep now. They, their children, their husband, their wife went out. Now all they are doing is barrier. No, that God will command these things to cease. This country will continue to be saved. We are having a program August 11. Canada, return to your maker. That God will return to this place in the name of Jesus. If there are people who are bent to destroy this nation, let God thunder and destroy their plans. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we commit all the people that Lord Jesus lost their family in this tragedy tonight, that Lord, you will be with them. 
you will watch over them. Lord, we pray for Canada that this will never repeat itself in the mighty name of Jesus. You have made this country safe. It will continue to be safe. Whether it is terrorism or act of violence or tragedy, we command it to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I want us to pray by the grace of God. We'll be commencing uh, International Garden of Eagles Conference. Uh, the, the Europe, we're going to Denmark. We are going to uh, uh, um, Belgium. We are going to England. From next week, let's out uh, this week, let's ask God, go with us. Go open the nations to us. Let your angel carry us. Say they, they were for 40 years in the widow. In the widow, I said, and they were carried by the eagles. Hallelujah. And carry them like the eagles. Hallelujah. Let God carry us. Carry us. Carry us. Make us vessel of honor in the name of God. And I, he said, Samuel said, I do not cease to pray for you. Don't cease to pray for us. Ask God to go with us. There are three things about missions. You either go or you groan or you send. Ask God to help you to grow. I'm, I'm begging you to grow tonight. That God will open Belgium to us beyond our comprehension. God will open England. God will open Denmark for us. Let's pray tonight. Let's pray that the power of God will be released upon those nations. I will be going with Pastor Akini Ola that the Lord Jesus will sustain us, keep our family, keep our ministry, keep you here. You will not send text message of distress. I will not receive text message of distress. And I will not send to you in the name of Jesus. Reke posa kuria baba shanda. Lekoske reke posa kuria. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. This is our time. I want you to pray to speak to the Lord tonight. Lord, heal me. Set me free. What do you want God to do for you? This is our month of mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. He said, it is not either willeth or runneth, but either showeth mercy. Ask God, let me receive mercy. In the month of April 2018, let me receive mercy, Lord. Let me receive mercy. The, Samuel received mercy. The Bible says, First Samuel chapter two verse twenty six. He says, "And Samuel grew in the a, 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 and found favor with God and with men." Oh, the later that you will find favor, the later that you will find favor. Mention your name. Mention grace. Mention favor to come to you tonight in the name of Jesus. It's not about struggle. It's not about labor. It's about favor. Let God favor you. Let God favor your husband. Let God favor your children. Let God favor your career. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God heal you. Let God set you free. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The final prayer, the Lord says, this year is our year to flourish. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe you are flourishing. Amen. But I want you to say it. Until the year is over, your doors are open. A pastor called me yesterday and said, Pastor, we have closed the deal. We have bought our new facility. You will buy your new facility. Maybe you want to buy your house. You want to buy a new car. You are tired of uh, in 2018. You are using a 1918 car. No, God will deliver you. It's your year to flourish. Amen. You are tired of being a renter. You will know you will no more rent. You will pay mortgage. Amen. And you will put a substantial money down. God will orchestrate good things for you. So, uh, Psalm 92 verse 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. He said, Those that be planted in the courtyard of the Lord, they shall flourish. Prophesy that you will flourish. He said, Even in old age, even if you are 80, even if you are 90 tonight, and, and I'm not sure there is any 90 year old, you are still old. You are not too old to bear fruit. You will bear fruit. Fruit of righteousness. Fruit of joy. Fruit of prosperity. Lord, I speak prosperity to my life, to my wife, to my children, spiritual children, biological children. Wherever you are tonight, I command you to prosper. I command you to flourish. The word of God says, believe in the word and shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord, this year, 2018, let me flourish, Lord. Let me try. Let, let it be said that it is this year. God has 
God has remembered him. And pray for somebody tonight. God will remember you. You will say 2018, God remember me. God turn things around. Maybe you have been the last now. God will turn it around. He said the last shall become the first. Makos korobo shokoria. Reke posakora basike riva sanda. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to bless you for giving us good health, capacity to talk, for people to hear, for us to walk, for us to go to work, for us to eat, for us to listen to your word. Blessed be your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight you led us to read First Samuel chapter 12. It's a classical case of, of a Samuel who, who, who turned this word around. And when he was at the point of death, he challenged the people. What have I told you? And they said nothing like that. He lived a life of integrity. I speak to everyone watching this telecast. I speak to everyone hearing me tonight. You will live a life of holiness. You will live a life of integrity. You will live a life of honesty in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not saw your name. You will not saw your reputation. You will not be a case of scandal in the name of Jesus. Where is the enemy holding you to ransom? Where is the enemy pushing you? And you say, God, you know I want to do this. I cannot do this. God who did it for Samuel will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. We read in 1 Samuel chapter 12, when the people repented, you sent thunder and you fought for them. These people have come to you tonight. Is there any way the enemy is harassing them? Harassing their home? Harassing their marriage? I command thunder tonight to set you free in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you told us that Samuel's I will not cease to pray. The spirit that does not make us to cease to pray. The spirit that makes us to delight in your word. But God, you said, if we delight in your word, we shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. You said, our leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever we do shall prosper. And prophesy to somebody, as you continue your prayer work, as you continue to serve God, you will prosper. 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 You will do well. Your name, your name, the name the Lord has given you shall not be cut short. Long life shall be your portion. Lord, you told us this month is our month of mercy. And pray for myself, pray for everyone here tonight. Show mercy. Is it over marital issues? Is it over financial matter? Is it over health issue? Is it over purpose? Whatever. Is it over eternity matter? Lord, let mercy, let mercy, let mercy, let mercy be our portion. We receive mercy. Jacob received mercy. Roka poso korebo shoria. Leke rebo soko riba skila. Samuel received mercy. John the Baptist received mercy. Even Jesus received mercy. Let mercy follow everyone here tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, you told us this year is our year to prosper. I prophesy to every man, every woman that has been on this line tonight, you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Greg Gill, you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. Dickiness, oh, you mean you will prosper. In time that you will prosper. All of you that have been part of this one and those that will watch, I declare by the reason of the anointing. The size me says I've been young and now I'm old. I've not seen the righteous forsaken or children begging for bread. You will not beg for bread. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will flourish. Thank you, our Father. You will sleep in peace. You will wake up in peace. You will have more than enough. You will have enough to give in the name of Lord Jesus. Father, as we go to Europe, Lord, go with us. Bring us back safely. Open the doors for us. The doors of the nations. The doors of the nations. Rest supporters. Rest men and women that will give money, their time, their prayer. Lord, to make this program worldwide in the mighty name of Jesus. Let these ones, Lord, that have heard you, Lord, be instruments in your hand to be used for the glory of your name. Thank you, our Father, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. I mean, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. We love you with the love of God. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Maybe you are in the GTA and um, you are looking for a home church. We want to let you know that this is Christ Apostolic Church, Better Toronto. And we are located at 94 Kerhard Drive, uh, Suite 22. We meet every Sunday for a wonderful Holy Spirit filled miracle, you know, <laughs> saturated, you know, service by the grace of God. 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., be there. 
Our numbers are there on the screen by the grace of God that you can call uh, 647 8936 and our emails and um, IGOCAC better, uh, I mean gmail.com www.cacbetter.com www.igoministry.com Go there, you will see what God is doing and be part of what you want to do. And uh, we just want to thank God for your life and uh, pray that God will continue to bless you. We love you with the love of God. And then by the grace of God, we'll see you again next Monday in Jesus' name. By then, Jesus loves you and we also love you. Amen. God bless you.